Hello everyone and welcome to my latest video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a short video inside of Canva using your own pre-recorded video and the tools inside of the Canva photo editing suite. So what this means is that we're going to pull in a video that you've previously recorded. Perhaps you've recorded a video using Zoom as an example, or you've used your live streaming tools such as Restream, and you have a recording of that video. Now you may want to use Zoom because of its nice face moving option with the filters, or you may want to take a snippet from a live stream that you've done previously. What I'm going to show you how to do in this video is to actually bring that video into Canva, reduce the time down to one minute so that it's acceptable to use in YouTube shorts. And also if you want to, and you have the 60 second option inside your Instagram reels, you could also use it there. Okay, so the, for the best way for me to show you this is to jump into Canva. And if you haven't got Canva, then I'll pop a link underneath this video and you can sign up for free to give it a go. So here we are inside of Canva. So what you need to do is you need to choose a size that will fit inside of your YouTube Shorts account. So in other words, you want to create a vertical video. Now, if you type in here, Instagram Reels, you'll come up with the Instagram Reels video option. So this is the perfect template for not only YouTube Shorts, but also Instagram Reels, and also if you want to, TikToks as well. Go ahead and click that. Okay, so now that it's opened up into the perfect aspect ratio for you, what we want to do is we want to bring in one of the videos that you want to use to create your Shorts. So you may have actually pre-recorded a video inside of Zoom, which is only one minute long. So you're actually purposely recording videos specifically for shorts or for reels. But if you wanted to take a snippet of a longer video, perhaps you've done a live stream and you've downloaded that video from your live streaming app, such as Restream, and you want to just create a trailer or a snippet of that video as a promotional video to put into your shorts or Instagram reels, this is how you do it. So we're going to grab the video. So I'm going to take this video and I'm going to click on it and place it into the area. Now I'm going to make this come up and I'm going to bring this into the right area. So now that it's in exactly the right position by dragging it up to make sure it's in the center. Now what I want to do is I want to make this video clip only one minute long. So in order for it to show up in your YouTube shorts and in your reels, it does need to be 60 seconds or less. So to shorten the video, what one needs to do is come up here to this scissor area and click on it. Now, what I recommend is that you make the short part that you're actually creating around 57 seconds. And the reason for that is because I'm going to add on another page to this and bring the two videos together to make a 60 second video. So we're gonna go for 50 second, 57 seconds and I'm gonna click done. Okay, so now that we've got our video length as we want it, we want to now make the template into something that we can reach a, a wider audience by adding some text, branding it with our color and our logo, but also once you've done this once, you'll be able to use this same template over and over again by just putting your own different videos in. So I'm going to put my color background into my brand yellow, and I'm also going to add my logo in. So I'm gonna grab one of my logos and I'm going to pop that into the area. And that's my logo that links up to my account. Now, what I'm also going to do is add some text. So I'm gonna to go to the text option, and I'm going to add some text to tell people what the video is about. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to grab some of the pre-prepared text that you can get. So you can have any of these templates that they're used, they've used here, or you can create your own wording by using the headers and the subheaders. So I'm going to go ahead and use my title one as my main font. And I'm going to just pop that here. And in this bit here, you're going to put your video title goes here and then of course you make it bigger so that you can people can see it so let's just bring that up so don't forget that this space that I'm creating 
fits perfectly inside the YouTube shorts and also you can use it on Instagram Reels and also in TikTok. Now, obviously you can alter the color to match your brand. And I'm just gonna make that a little bit bigger. So you could have your title goes here. You could also, if you wanted to add a, another line, which actually perhaps has something like um, a call to action. So the video title goes here. So I'm going to put here, watch the preview now. Okay, so that's already done nicely for you in a nice presentation. So you've already got that ready. Now underneath here, we're going to leave some space because what happens inside of YouTube and an Instagram is that you can get the subtitles to come up automatically. However, if you wanted to type in some of the wording, you could if you wanted to. But for this purpose of this video, you can leave this area blank so that when it, this YouTube Shorts plays inside of YouTube, the subtitle option will show the subtitles down the bottom here. So you've got this space nice and clear for those subtitles. Okay, now what I wanna show you is to actually enhance this by adding a call to action at the end of the video. So to do that, all we need to do is we need to duplicate this page by clicking this button up here. And it's actually going to give us all of that information duplicated. And what we're going to do now is instead of keeping this video here, we're going to remove this video here and we're going to place a call to action such as subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, click the link below this video to reach out to me, etc. So, so what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to put YouTube subscribe. This is going to get me some of the subscribe options. And if I do a little video, it's going to bring some of those little options in. So perhaps if I grab this one, it gives me this little fuzzy option. And if we look here, we can see what they all do. So that's quite nice. So maybe I might put that one in. And then I'm going to make this one take the space that the previous video took. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna shorten this because remember, we want our total video to only be one minute. So this section can only be three seconds long. So we're gonna go up to the, the um, scissors. We're gonna drag this across to get to the subscribe bit. And then we're just gonna reduce this right down to three seconds. And then we need to move it so that we get the subscribe. Perfect. So we might just bring it over a little bit so that it starts subscribing, you get the finished bit there. Perfect. So then we're gonna click done. So now at the top here, you can see that my video length is now one minute. Now, if you want to see both videos tiles together, what you can do is you can click this option down the bottom, which gives you the grid view. If you click that, it's actually going to show you the two videos together. Then if you click play, you're actually going to be able to see the full video. So this is the full video if I go along to near the end. We'll just let that play through and you'll see in a second the final bit. So I want to show you how you get that subscribe. Perfect. So we know that the video is the right length for YouTube shorts and also the maximum length for Instagram reels. And you can use this on TikTok as well because they do have the option to go up to three minutes now. So on here, what we want to do is we want to double click this and say, click link below video to watch the full episode. So this is like a video that I've taken a short snippet of and I'm going to put the link to that video underneath this YouTube shorts in the description. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's in there like so. I'm gonna just move this one and pop that down there because I'm gonna use that text in a second. So I have that like this. And then this one, I'm going to put like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna just change the font to that to my normal font, which is the Open Sans. I'm going to make that bold. You can change the font color if you want to make it pop. 
and then you're all ready to roll. So now what you do is you actually download this video. So put your video title in here. So YouTube Shorts trailer. And then you go download MP4, both pages together, click download. And what's going to happen is it's going to download this into a shorts video ready for you to upload it into YouTube. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what the final video looks like once you've downloaded it. So here it is now. So as you can see, I'm going to press go. And there's the video that I've already just done. I'm just gonna, as you can see, if I scroll through, we get near the end and the new page, which we created inside of Canva, comes in so that people can actually do a call to action as well, which is super, super cool. OK, so if you want to watch how to upload that YouTube shorts that you've just created in Canva into your YouTube channel, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll drop the link below this video, which will show you how to upload this video to your YouTube channel as a shorts, because there are some particular things you need to do in order for it to show up on the short shelf. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop them below this video and I will see you in the next video.